couple of rotisserie chickens in that Royal King 500 pellet grill. I'm going to be drinking that uh, Polar Lager. And we're going to go in with that chug rub for, that, for the chickens. And here's my knife of choice today. I'm going to go ahead and update the edge on my blade with my uh, Bavarian knife sharpener. Give it a few passes. It keeps those edges looking very good, very sharp. This is a must-have for your knives. Very easy to do. Three or four times and you're good. Just look at that shiny sharp edge. You can find that in my Amazon front store in the description. So what I have here guys, a couple of six pound chicken from my local HEB. Uh, some big chickens. I want to test this cooker's rotisserie system. Um, so let's go ahead and prep these chickens. I'm just going to open them up, trim up, and remove everything that I don't want to eat. Um, get these things nice and um, prepped. Loose skin, remove the tails. There's no necks, no nothing inside this one. Uh, just, you know, give it a once over. I'm going to tie it up. I like pumping up that breast by tying that string around it. And then I go into the legs. And the wingtips, I just always tuck them in the back. That's the first chicken. Coming up on the second one. Same routine. Just uh, trim and remove a couple of things off of it that I don't want to eat. You know, we're going to tighten up that uh, string around that breast to plump it up. And tie those legs together. And tuck the wing tips behind the chicken. And there we go, guys. A couple of chickens ready for the rotisserie. But first, let's hit him up with that delicious, savory chud rub. Guys, this, this rub is very savory, very delicious on chicken. Highly recommend it. Go get yourself some. Try it out. I promise you it's very, very good. There is the prepped chickens. Nice little close-up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in a tray and put them in the refrigerator uh, for about five hours before I actually put them on the cooker. Just let them rest. Here we go, it's cook time, guys. This is what they look like after they've been resting. And I'm going to go ahead and install both chickens on this rotisserie. You can see I removed quite a bit of the rub whenever I placed that other chicken on top of it. But I'll make it work here. I'm going to put two chickens on one rotisserie. I'm going to tighten these up very good. I rotisserie the chicken one time before on a different grill. And one thing that I noticed is that when it got hot, it got loose. So, pro tip, get you some pliers and tighten it up pretty good. Trust me. So into the Broil King we go. As you can see, I have already removed all the grill grates. And I am getting ready to just install the rod here. Making sure that it rotates the way it's supposed to. Um, and I'll be touching up some of the uh, bald spots. Get a delicious rub. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and hit it on that preset button of 350 degrees. And let's let this thing go. I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to check it for the first hour. So here we go, guys. This is what it looks like after the first hour. And just take a look at the colors that they've developed. Uh, look at all the juice dripping off the bottom. And it is just a beautiful sight. Everything is holding together very nicely. Um, I did notice that... Uh, there was kind of a small little gap in there that kind of filled up, but uh, everything's working the way I want it, and I'm testing this thing to the max. And so far, it has performed very, very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and close this back up, and while that's continuing to cook, I am going to prep a couple of these already pre-made vegetable kebabs from my local HEB. Now I'm spraying some butter on it and I'm coming in with that uh, potatoes layer from Fire and Smoke Society 
And I'm going to go ahead and grill them up on the side of the chicken there. I installed a couple of grates on both sides. The chickens are done. Take a look at the finished product on these chickens, guys. Very juicy. Very delicious. The skin was nice and crispy. This was a win. And this cooker performed very, very nicely. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, many more cooks on the way on this particular cook. And here's the finished product. I appreciate you guys coming to watch my video. This dinner was delicious. Uh, until the next time, guys. Uh, peace out.